Well, we are very excited once again to have the face of cycling in Australia, SBS's Mike Tomolaris, joining us in Launceston for the University of Tasmania Launceston Cycling Festival this year. And I'm pleased to say Mike's taken a few minutes out from his uh, trip to New York to join us uh, on the line. Mike, good to have you with us. Welcome to uh, Launceston, a beautiful uh, morning down here and uh, evening where you are. Yeah, good day, Rick. Uh, good evening from uh, Manhattan. That's the skyline right behind me in what's been a pretty eventful week uh, this week, but uh, possibly and probably not as eventful as what's going to happen uh, at the end of November for the Launceston Classic. It really is an event that I look forward to each and every year, and I've attended each and every uh, edition mm. of, of the Classic since it started back in 2002. Yeah, and what is it that you love about this race? I know it's one of your favourite uh, events of the year in Australia uh, to come down to uh, as part of the, the, the Classic, but what does it for you that makes you want to come back every year? Well, you know, Rick, uh, Tasmania, it's no secret that it has a rich history when it comes to uh, cycling, dating back uh, decades, perhaps a century even. And what I love about the Tasmanians when they support this event particularly is the passion and uh, this is a criterion, particularly the Sunday race, like no other. I mean, the whole town comes out. It has mm. always supported this event. There isn't another event like this around Australia where you have up to 10,000 people lining the streets of a big city like Launceston and uh, the passion and the knowledge for cycling that the uh, Launcestons, Launcestonians, I think you call them, uh, have for, for the sport, for the uh, personalities. It's second to none, believe me. No, you've got the lingo going beautifully. You are a Launcestonian as far as we're concerned. You've been down here, as you mentioned, since day one. Now, Mike, you're talking to a rookie who's about to call his uh, first Launceston Cycling Classic. Uh, really excited about calling it with yourself. Uh, you've been involved, as you said, from day one. You got any special tips for me as I uh, head into my first one? Oh, look, Rick, just to express as much passion as the people that follow this wonderful event and this great sport. Um, um, I think uh, it's, a, it's a really good course that the organisers have put together now around City Park and there's that little uphill uh, um, climb very close to the finish mm. outside the Launceston Hotel, which I think was a major attraction to last year's event. It was held uh, for the very first time, this little pinch, and I think it made for an, a very, very um, interesting race, to say the least. Tips? Look, you're on your own in that department, mate. You're uh, a... <laughs> You're a man with uh, experience, so uh, I'm sure you'll, uh, well, we'll work pretty closely together on the day. We will. Now, uh, this year sees an absolutely cracking field. We're already getting some, some great names that are going to assemble in Launceston on November the 27th. Uh, names such as Port, Goss, Bernie and Wes Sulzberger, of course, uh, Georgia Baker back from uh, the Rio Olympics, and of course, last year's uh, women's winner, Kimberly Wells, uh, just to name a few. Uh, it must excite you to see how far we've come as a nation, but I guess also as a state when we reel those names off since you first became involved, I guess, particularly with the Tour de France uh, back in 1996. And you know, those names that you've mentioned, Rick, uh, they are not just Tasmanian names or national names around Australia, but they are world names. Richie mm. Port, for example, fifth at the Tour de France in 2016. Matt Goss, who um, won the Milan San Remo um, and, of course, finished second at the World Championships uh, in 2011, I think it was, in Denmark. Yep. Now, look, it's going to be a, a wonderful event, and we're going to say farewell to uh, Gossi, who's had a terrific career. And, of course, the Salzburger brothers, uh, Wes and Bernie, tremendous um, ambassadors for cycling in Tasmania. And for Richie Port, look, he finished fifth at the Tour de France this year, and there's every indication the Launceston Classic will springboard his season for 2017. And, of course, his whole year will revolve around uh, climbing onto that podium in Paris at the end of July at the Tour de France. And this could be the start of a, of a wonderful six months for Richie Port. So some great names, some wonderful athletes coming out of Tasmania. And, of course, Georgia Baker. She had a pretty interesting uh, campaign in Rio this year. And it'll be wonderful to uh, see her on, her on the streets of her hometown and giving her uh, just as much encouragement, I think.